Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This time, we have another unboxing. This uh, this is an LPDA external 12 dBi antenna. These are external antennas for your TP-Link MR600 router. And these are the cables. This one is the end male type connector. This gets connected to the antenna. And the other end is the SMA male type, which gets connected to your router. And the cable that I'm using is LMR200 cable. And the length, is 5 meters so there are two antennas so each antenna has a uh, wire length of 5 meters this is the LPDA external directional antennas so you would need to point these antennas towards the uh, tower to get a better signal and this one gets connected to your cable that's the N female type connector and to your router you could remove this antenna if you have not checked this video out, I'll leave a link on the top. You could go check my review of the MR600 router. And the cable which has the male connector, it gets connected to the jack. And the other end gets connected to your antenna. You just have to press it and screw it in. Screw it in tight. It gets fixed perfectly. Along with the antenna, you do get uh, the mounting brackets, which you could use to mount this antenna on a pole. Now, I'm pretty new for this usage of external antennas. Uh, I have just uh, searched on Google web. Uh, I mean, I just did some search and I'm installing this on my rooftop. I just want to share my review out to you guys. The reason why you need this is because say if you are staying in an outdoor location where you have very less signal, you could use these antennas point, point towards your uh, cell tower and this would increase your gain, this would increase your uh, overall signal quality and you would get better speeds. So these are the two antennas, you would need to combine these two antennas and point it out to the tower and I'm just doing few holes on the roof so I already did, drilled four holes uh, for the clamps to mount the uh, pipe I'm actually using the uh, PVC pipe now if you have or if you live in a location where you have lots of towers around you then you could also look at uh, patch antennas that's the uh, LTE patch antennas or omnidirectional antennas. Uh, if you live far away from the tower, maybe like 200 meters of uh, 300 meters away, then you could use these directional antennas. This would increase your uh, signal quality. I'm just screwing this in uh, so that I could uh, mount the pole. Now, overall, guys, the uh, cable, uh, the LPDA antenna, and shipping costed me around 2,800 rupees. I bought this from a seller from uh, India Mart. I leave a link in the description below. You could get, you could go purchase it from that person. So I've already installed the antennas. I have the mounting brackets to a PVC pipe. This is a 1.5 inch diameter PVC pipe. It's pretty strong. And to which I have mounted the antennas. I heard people saying that we have to mount it in a 45 degree angle so that I could get a better polarization. I'm not sure about this. But if you have any suggestions, do leave it in the comment section below if I need to change the direction. So if you see that antenna, uh, that's the cell tower. Uh, that's the Vodafone cell tower and the other one is the Airtel. I'm, pointing, uh, I'm actually pointing the antennas towards that cell tower. And yes, it does help. Uh, increase your signal quality if you remember I used to get 7 mbps in my room uh, but now I'm cl uh, getting close to 25 30 mbps uh, because I connected this antennas and I took this down to my room so these are uh, cross section so these are pointing towards that cell tower I'm not sure whether this is the right way to mount it I'm just gonna do an experiment here uh, and I'll also try changing the angles of the antennas and if, if, if anyone of you know how should I mount these antennas, do let me know in the comment section so that I could change it. As I mentioned, I'm pretty new to it. And if you see the connection, 
between the antenna and the cable i just uh, put an electric tape on it and then i zip tied it so that the water doesn't go inside those uh connections and i pull that wire directly inside my uh room and yes it was raining in chennai so that's the reason why you see all the water droplets uh, on the antennas now this is something that not everyone needs to use it uh if you live far away from the city then you could certainly use this but i just bought this so that i could experiment with these uh antennas and see what kind of difference or what kind of gain that you get i'm just going to do a speed test at the end of the video uh so if you see i have already did a speed test this router is placed near my room now and uh if you see right now i'm getting uh the rsp value as well as the snr value which is good and the signal strength is only 50 percentage but even with these type of signal strength i am getting close to 25 22 mbps now one thing that i could tell you guys is that when you mount these antennas just change it to a different direction uh try focusing focusing it to a different cell tower because some cell towers have a better throughput uh, because i did point it to the other cell tower which was in the opp opposite direction i got a better snr value of uh, 12 to 13 dbm uh, however the speed was only around 18 19 mbps but this and uh, this cell tower that i'm focusing out uh, has a lesser snr value but the speed is always good uh, i get 25 sometimes 30 mbps so i just mounted to that direction so these antennas are not something that you could change direction very often once you mounted once you know which cell tower to focus that's where it gets locked to so if you have any questions do leave in the comment section below and uh, if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you so much for watching stay tuned